hello everyone welcome back to my channel welcome back to our shed tales tv it's been a minute but we're grateful to god that we have another opportunity to be back here and to share on something very important yes <laughs> Today I want to share a little bit on the topic, modesty. What is the modesty? Not that type you're thinking about, it's not the appearance. Today we're going to talk about modesty of speech. If this is your first time on this channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so glad to have you here with me. And I hope you do consider staying to the end of this video. And to all my returning subscribers and friends, I should call you guys friends now. Thank you so much for clicking on this new upload. So I'm sure you guys all know what modesty is all about. We've heard the word over and over again, modesty, modesty, modesty. And I'm very sure that the first place your thought would turn to when I talk about modesty will be appearance, dressing. But what I really want to focus on today is modesty in speech, in the way we talk. In general, modesty is the behavior, the manner, or the appearance in which someone intends to avoid indecency. To help us understand modesty better, modesty can be divided into three parts. Modesty in appearance, modesty in character, and modesty in speech. I know a lot of people really focus on modesty of appearance and towards maybe one gender or you know all genders but i think we don't really pay attention to modesty in speech maybe some people do but not a whole lot of people as i've come to notice just my own opinion now a quick story of my life now i come from africa nigeria and um over there a lot of people from there might relate to this and um if you're not from there i'll just tell you that um back where i come from uh, modesty is very is a very important character expected in every individual modesty whether it's in dressing in character or in speech starting from your childhood stage to even adult modesty is something everyone looks out for so whether as a child being raised in a family, you are taught about modesty. The way you talk to your elders, the way you talk to someone older than you, even if it's two years older than you, they demand respect from you. You know, I think we don't really pay attention to the word modesty over there. We just know that everyone is supposed to be respectful. We are all respectful to our elders, to other people, people around us. You just have to be respectful. It's, it's part of the culture there. And then when I moved over, when I moved over to the States, I noticed that a lot of filthy words were being thrown around. At first, it was very uncomfortable for me because coming from that part of the country to a place where people just talk anyhow and um, they normalize foul language, it was so uncomfortable. And I'm like, what is going on here? What part of the world is this? You know, children are talking to adults and their parents anyhow, cursing. I mean, even in professional environments, people are still cursing. I'm like, this, I haven't seen this before. So it was very surprising and I must say very disgusting to me when I came and saw that. And I thought to myself, how can a place look so rosy, appear so beautiful? But then the words of the people are so filthy. I won't say I've grown comfortable around foul uh, environments where people are speaking foul language or cursing. Nope, still very uncomfortable for me. But what I do is make sure I distinguish myself in any place I am and let them know uh, this is not who I am. This is not how I speak. So respect that. You know, like I said, a lot of people don't really pay attention to modesty in speech. And I do hope that as we are starting this year, the year is still fresh and new, that will make a little change in the area of our speech if we have been used to some indecency in our speech, in our spoken words. And when people ask, in what area, how do I know that I'm not being modest in my speech? One, 
Foul language and cursing. Do you normalize foul language and cursing around you? That's one area where people tend to be so comfortable and they try to normalize everything that, oh, it's normal, it's normal. Nope, as a child of God, that shouldn't be normal. Foul language and cursing shouldn't be part of you and you shouldn't be comfortable around that. Try to distinguish yourself in that environment. I've been in a place where an adult was joking around, say, oh, I heard this child um, saying curse words and it was so cute. And I'm like, um, a child saying curse words and you think that is cute? I don't know what's going on in people's head, but no, that is not cute at all, especially for a child. So please caution your children, caution the younger ones to watch their speech, control what they say, and say appropriate things. Say decent things. Another area where one can be indecent in speech is gossip. Mm -hmm. That is one other dirty place where we can show indecency in our speech another area is bragging i did this i did that oh yes that was me that was me uh-huh bragging bragging mm, that is another way of showing indecency in speech you're not being modest in speech when you're bragging and telling everyone i did this i did that oh that was me that's my family this is that this is that huh if you achieved something, if you did something, let people praise you. Don't go bragging about what you did. This bragging is not just for adults only, it's for children. So let's start from the little stage to teach these ones to be modest in their speech, be modest in their communication. And the same goes for adults too. If you are so used to bragging and telling everyone what you've achieved or what you're about to achieve, try to cut down on it and then eliminate it entirely so try to be discreet in everything you do it's not about keeping secret it's just contain control your tongue control your mouth the way you speak another area where one can be indecent in speech is flattery flattery oh my god that's basically lies <laughs> telling lies flattery lies don't flatter people, say it as it is, be truthful, you know, don't flatter people, don't go saying what is not true about them just to make them happy because uh, at some point when they realize that you were flattering them, you were not telling them the truth, it might turn to something else. So be honest in your speech, be honest, honesty, modesty. Okay, another area is inappropriate jokes. Uh, jokes about people's bodies, jokes about people, you know, what they see or what they don't see in people's bodies. Uh, those are all indecent communication, indecent talks, indecent way of speaking. So don't go about um, talking about inappropriate things, you know. So you might think it's funny, oh, I'm just saying it so that everyone may laugh. Uh-uh. You might be offending someone or you might be offending somebody's brother or sister another area where one can be indecent or not modest in speech is sarcasm mm. and another area i'm going to mention is criticism don't criticize people it's not a nice way of talking about someone or talking to someone it's not nice at all because one day the way as you're criticizing other people someone will also criticize you like oh this one is always talking about people always condemning people always judging people so if you're always criticizing people please stop it in this new year ah i just remembered another one mean words and insults i almost forgot that saying mean words to people we see that even from like very young age like children they start saying mean words to people and um if you don't catch that maybe as siblings are talking to siblings yeah i've seen some children telling their brother or sister oh you're so ugly i'm like no 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 you don't say that you don't tell your brother or your sister you're ugly because as you're telling as you're saying it at home and feeling comfortable about it you will say it to someone outside and that that's a mean thing to say to someone so let's start from a very young age to tell our children do not say mean words and if you're an adult too that likes saying mean words to people please it is not funny it's not funny change just change okay 
Ephesians 4.29 says, Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. And if you're asking what's the important, what's the big deal about this modesty in speech, what's the big deal? I mean, people should get used to it. Hold on. This is why it's important to be modest in your communication and in your spoken words. One, edifying yourself and even edifying your children too. Yeah, if you as an adult cannot control your tongue, you cannot control the things you say, what do you want the younger ones looking up to you to do? They'll basically do the same thing and even worse. The Bible also tells us that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Before those things come out of your mouth, your heart is already darkened and dampened with immoral thoughts, with things that do not please God. So you're not edifying yourself. You're not edifying whoever is listening to you. Another reason why it is important to be modest in your speech is your communication promotes your integrity. Yes, the way you speak can command respect for you. The way you speak can draw people to you. So this is quite important and we see it in relationships. People want to be in relationships with someone that talks well, talk, someone that talks with respect, someone that communicates well with them, someone that doesn't insult them or bring them down. And even in jobs, in careers, in businesses, right now, people are looking for respectful individuals, people that talk respectfully. If you go for an interview, you're not going to go and sit. If you sit down there and start saying, um curse words or you know speaking in foul language i don't think you'll be hired and one last reason i'll leave you with is you are representative of christ i had talked about this last year that we are all representative of christ everywhere we find ourselves in our homes in our workplaces in any way we find ourselves we are representatives of christ let people see the love of god in you let people hear about the love of god from your mouth do not use your tongue to draw people away from the body of Christ. You are a representative of Christ. So shine your light and let others follow you. These are the few points I wanted to talk about regarding modesty in speech. If you have any comments or any contribution, please don't hesitate to leave it in the comment section. Let's share our thoughts on this and also help each other out. The next thing that I'm going to talk about, which will be in another video shortly, is modesty for women only or for men because whenever they talk about modesty people the first gender people go to is women modesty women so is modesty just for women or is it for men and women is it for everybody we're going to talk about that in the next video so thank you so much for tuning in today thank you for watching and if you have watched up to this moment please don't forget to hit that subscribe button like comment and share this video out until next time remain blessed bye bye